Hi, I'm Julie here at Green Acres Nursery and Supply and as part of our series on irrigation, I'm here in the drip aisle to talk about that last little piece to your drip system, which is the emitter. And they range from as slow as one half gallon to hour to as much as 35 gallons per hour. The miracle of drip is that it works in just about every situation you have in your yard. It's a slope, it's full on sun, it's a gully, it never sees any sun and it works in all soil types. Rock, sand, clay, and nice stuff that you have in your pots. The first and most common end of your drip line are called emitters. Sometimes they're called point source, sometimes they're called buttons. And there are two main kinds that we carry here. These are the most affordable option for your drip system. And what you'll notice with this one is it is a flag, which means that the top comes out and you can actually flush it out. And then we've got the traditional button. These range from one half gallon up to one, two, three, and four, sometimes five in different places. And they put water exactly where it belongs. Sometimes, however, these are not the best choice because you have so many plants or you have plants that have gotten a lot bigger. When you first have one or two emitters near the trunk, after a while you need to pick them up, move them out to that new drip edge of the plant and add more. So you can end up having a lot of these, but again, they are the most affordable option. Sometimes it turns out that those little button or point source or flag emitters, they become a bit of a problem for you because you have to have so many. And that's when you get to move up to the next possibility. And that is quarter inch soaker tubing. What's wonderful about this is it evenly oozes and weeps along its entire length. This is especially useful for fast growing areas like your vegetable garden. So if you come home with that cute little four inch tomato, you simply wind the soaker tube around it. As the tomato grows, he's gonna become this big and you just use your finger and scoop that soaker tubing out to the new drip line. No more adding emitters, no more fussing with more bits and pieces. Then there are other options. This little guy is even stronger. He comes in um, with six inch spacing, a half a gallon an hour comes out of each one of those emitters. It's reinforced and it regulates the pressure, which is exceptionally useful for those of us on wells. Then what I'm finding that this is working out really well for is when people have those lovely flagstones and things like Elf and Thyme, because this is designed to be in the soil. It will be underneath the soil, underneath the Elf and Thyme, and now you won't be tripping over it, you won't rip it, you won't break it, the dog won't find it, and you won't be wasting any water on the stones themselves. Then we have even one bigger size. This is 5 8 and this has one gallon per hour emitters every 12 inches, and every 12 inches is considered ideal. This is excellent for your more mature landscaping. You simply lay it down, put down your little U-shaped hooks, and you're all set to go. So besides those little point source emitters and the soaker tubing options, there's yet one more category. And these are guys that are gonna put out a lot more water and a lot further away from where the water is coming out. So you can get something that's gonna spray as little as one and a half feet up to 27 feet across. This sounds wonderful, mainly because a lot of them are adjustable and some of them come in 90 degree angles, spray in a 180 pattern, or even spray in a full 360. But there are considerations. Once you have something that's gonna be spraying out into the air, you're losing some of that efficiency that drip has because the wind can take it and it can land on plant material and just burn off. Further, because these put out so much water, again, up to 35 gallons an hour as opposed to one or two, you'll find that you're limited to maybe having just four of these on your line, as opposed to with the drip emitters where you can have nearly 300. So if you bought some of these before and you had four or five or six on a line and you noticed the last one was kind of dribbling and spitting, it means you ran out of water and you need to take some of those drippers away. 
please feel free and come see our experts in the store for assistance with any drip that you have. And remember that we are always available to you at idig.greenacres.com.